this story. 28-year-old rugby player and social worker Havard Ruglin from Norway makes a video showing his kicking prowess and now 2.4 million hits later he might get a shot at NFL Millions. Whether it's on the football field, the beach, or in his backyard, Havard Ruglin can kick. Backwards. With both feet. And even into a canoe or a basketball hoop. The Norwegian youth counselor had some free time on summer vacation, so he decided to show off his leg with some friends and a camera. I wanted to show that I was a good kicker, but but I, I would never, I, I was never thinking it will end up like this. The video became a hit on YouTube, attracting worldwide attention, including the world of American football. No one could uh, see this coming. Calls came in from everywhere, sports agents, coaches, and even an invitation to work out with the New York Jets. I saw a lot of potential on his YouTube video, so I signed him right there. Right now, he's worked out for the Jets, and we're looking for other teams to work him out. The talent that I've seen him have, 242 pounds. He's six foot two. He's 28, so he's got some seasoning underneath him. I would think that his club soccer team folding may be the best thing that ever happened to him. Matt Stover made nearly 500 field goals and won a Super Bowl in the NFL. Although impressed, he says the odds are slim that Ruglin would make it right away. Even though he can easily kick a 50-yarder with his eyes closed, Ruglin has never done a real kickoff or even had the ball snapped in a game. He has to get used to the equipment, the helmet, the snap and the hold, the timing of it, the pressure. All those type of things are things that I have already mastered high school, college, and my many years in the NFL. And now you're asking him to do the same thing who's never even seen it? It may take him a little time. Havar continues to work with well-known kicking coach Michael Husted to refine his technique and learn the basics of football. Next up, besides a crash course on the game itself, a workout with the Jets in March, and then possibly with the Eagles, Packers, and Bears. only thing I need is to get back to San Diego and get ready for tryouts and try and show everybody what I got. Besides that amazing video, there are actually two money angles here. If he makes a practice squad, Ruglin would make at least 150 grand. If Ruglin makes a roster, it would be at least double that, and an established kicker in the NFL makes over two million a year. Of course, getting there is the issue. Ruglin would rather be training in the U.S. right now, but he can't afford to make the trip and stay here. What he needs is a sponsor. Somebody's got to step up here, folks, because I want this story to keep going. One note on Matt Stover. You wonder what he's doing in retirement? He's starting the Players Philanthropy Fund. Basically, his job is to make it easier for athletes to make charitable donations. What happens in a donor advised fund is that once they raise the funds that they have or that they are able to donate their own funds, they give it into Players Philanthropy Fund and then we take care of everything after that because they've already got their tax deduction and then we help bet where they want to send it because they have full control over where that money goes to as long as they're giving to another charitable cause. Stover is building his client base and already has more than a dozen including former Baltimore teammate Ed Reed. All right, coming up next, we take Super Bowl preparations to a whole new level.